Obart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. Topic number 14, Job Practice. Fillet weld, lap joint, horizontal position, without and with filler metal. The objective of this job practice is to develop the skill to produce quality lap joint fillet welds on 16 gauge stainless steel in the horizontal position. The finished bead face will be one electrode diameter wide with no undercut and should have a copper coloration. For this exercise, a fillet weld is deposited with equal 1 16th inch legs on both sides of the joint. The filler metal is ER308L. Material, 16 gauge stainless steel, electrode, 1% thoriated tungsten, 1 8 inch diameter. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Filler metal, ER308L, 1 16th inch diameter. Equipment, power source, AC-DC combination, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Stainless steel wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 35 to 45 amps. Hot start, 4. Post purge, 10 to 15 seconds. High frequency, automatic. High frequency control setting, 50. Gas flow rate, 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, one to two electrode diameters. The first weld exercise will be done without filler metal. The workpiece for this job practice is made of two 16 gauge stainless steel plates, tack welded together to form a lap joint. Overlap the plates and then offset them about 1 16th inch. Then tack weld them across both ends while holding the plates together to form a tight joint. Position the torch at the end of the joint with a 70 degree work angle and a 10 degree push travel angle. Start the arc and move along the joint at an even rate, directing the electrode on the top corner of the upper plate. The edge of the plate will be melted down to fuse with the lower plate. The finished bead should show the copper color, be about one electrode diameter wide and flat to slightly convex. If the electrode was directed into the V of the joint rather than on the upper plate, you will get undercutting and a concave weld bead. This part of the job practice will use the same kind of workpiece as before. However, filler metal will be used to form the weld. Prepare a lap joint and position it for welding. Again, use a 70 degree work angle and a 10 degree push travel angle. Place the filler rod in the joint and angle it 20 degrees from the surface of each plate. Start the arc and direct the electrode at the root of the joint. Use the lay wire technique. Hold the filler rod stationary at the root of the joint and completely fuse the filler metal into the root and sides of the joint. The finished bead should be flat or slightly convex, about one electrode diameter wide. In the next part of the topic, we will use pulsed current to produce the weld. Make the following adjustments to the machine settings. Pulsation, on. Amperage setting, 
60. Percent weld current, 33. High pulse time, 4. Low pulse time, 4. For this exercise, use the same type of workpiece, torch angles, and filler rod angles that were used for the previous exercises. Start the arc and deposit the weld by moving forward on the low pulse and pausing on the high pulse. The high pulse should produce full penetration to the root of the joint. The finished weld will be about one electro diameter wide, have a copper coloration, and should have the overlapping spot appearance. Inspect the weld, and then continue practice.